Okay, it's very, very small. That's what we're going to be replacing. Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel. One of the things happened is I crashed really hard a couple of days ago. Stripped off the top of this and broke off the top of the antenna here. Here's the antennas that we're going to be replacing. I believe this is the video antenna and this is the remote antenna. If you turn on the thing, I get really bad reception. Now I can hardly go more than 15 feet without the thing just kind of just falling out of the sky. Everything is soldered and we'll see how that goes. Anything I mentioned today has not been sponsored by any of the companies. I'm doing this on my own time and money i'll leave a link below if you're interested in any of these products you need your tiny hawk that you're going to be replacing antennas this is a coaxial cable here for the radio transmitter and this is the vtx this is a dipole antenna we're going to need a solder possibly some flux and solder wire cutter various size screwdriver heads so first things first i'm going to take out all the props i was wondering do they make micro power screwdrivers i'd love to know if you guys have them leave a comment below on the brand that you use and so I took off the prop. Now we're gonna take off the body. Looks like there's just four screws here, four tiny screws. All right, so these are where the four were. One, two, three, and four. Took out those. The whole thing just kind of comes apart. Okay, these rubber things. These are spacers. You can see these are the sides that didn't come off. This is the spacers here. I'm gonna pop this off so it's a little bit more clearer. This is the body. This is the camera connect just like that so we'll just put that on the side here are the two antennas this is the video transmitter this is a vtx antenna and this right here below this capacitor is the radio transmitter they say you just slowly kind of push that on the side the capacitor and you can see what we have to do there's going to be a strip here and this one looks like a t so we're going to be going through how to do that all right, so for the VTX, we have to create this. What we're gonna do is cut the bottom of this off, kind of start fraying the connector. All right, so what we're gonna do is just chop it off like that. It's like a protective layer. We're gonna strip a little bit off that protective layer. What we're doing is exposing the, um, the ground wire inside it. It's a little bit more difficult than I was expecting. There we go. That's like a clear plastic that I removed from the end here. We need to unravel this. As an example, it has to look like this. It's gonna split off to a T and there's a little string in here. It's pretty straightforward. It's like braided wire basically. And then you just peel it. You're gonna see a little clear, another clear plastic inside. And kind of make a T looking shape. All right, so now we made a T and then we're gonna use this as a reference. It seems to be just right. So now I need to take a little bit off the tip of this. It's a lot more difficult to remove this, this end piece here. And I think that's it. You can barely see the end here that I took out the tip. Okay, it's very, very small. That's what we're gonna be replacing. All right, so what we're gonna do is pre-tin this exterior here. We're, first, we're gonna put some flux. And we're just gonna dab it on there. So we're just gonna dab it on just a little bit. As you can see, there's a T shape here. Take some solder and blop it on there. And then we're just gonna get the tip. Make sure that's straight. Perfect. Want to apply heat to the board. Get the very tip. Try not to roast anything else. There we go. And it came off. We're gonna just kind of clean up just a little bit. I'm not sure if you can make this out. We're, we're gonna be basically attaching. There's a tiny little blob that's down over there, and then we're gonna attach the rest. So we just do it until it kind of holds in place. And now we're gonna do the two sides. We're just gonna. I'm not gonna work on this side, which is pretty gross, but that's okay. And that looks pretty secure here. It's not moving. This goes here. And let me just test it on my VTX. So we're gonna hook this up like so. And oh, looks great can see so this is working all right so now we're gonna go to the SPI here what we're gonna do is just 
Again, similarly, we're gonna lop it off the end here using a wire cutter. Just gonna do that. We're gonna take out this protective exterior here. We're gonna kind of line it up. How much do we need to take off? This is the thing right here. Let's measure it right here. And we're just taking off just this much off the tip. We're just gonna squeeze a little bit. And all we wanna do is just remove the shielding that's on here. Mm, I feel it coming off. You see the little break here. There we go. This just pops off right here. We're gonna fray this open and then there should be a wire in the inside just like the previous one. We're gonna pull it off so that it looks like this. And then just the very tip again, we just need to expose. So we're gonna remove this shielding. Yep. And then right there, I expose the inside. All right, so this is the shielding here. All right, so we just need to take a little bit off the, the tip like the last time. So I'm just gonna just do a little snip snip. So what we're gonna do is just wrap this extra shielding here around and that should line up with this. Let me just, first you wanna move the capacitor slightly out of the way, you don't wanna break it. We're gonna move the bigger blob here and you're gonna move the smaller patch that's down there. I'm not gonna lie, it is kinda of nerve wracking working on this, but I think it's just, just being patient. You don't wanna to touch the solder to anything. Nope, the solder, hopefully, it's coming off. Just work slow. There we go, easy as that. You wanna make sure you clean it every so often. We're gonna make this blob a little bit nicer. Okay. And then similar down here. Okay. We're gonna measure. And looks like I need to trim a little bit more off. So I eyeballed it and made sure that these line up. So the tip will be at the end there. And then the rest of the glob will be in the secondary patch box. So now we're gonna apply some flux at the very, very tip. We're gonna put some, we're gonna make soldering much cleaner and then we're gonna apply some around the edge here. All right, we're gonna pre-tin this side down. See the thing is nice and blobby. A bit too large here, it needs to be a little bit smaller, perfect. Okay, again, goal is just to get the, the tiniest little pad on here. Okay, I think that's good. And then now we're gonna get this big blob here. Make sure that connects with the bottom blob. And ta-da! So we've done it, we've upgraded just the antennas. Again, we didn't do any VTX or RX uh, update. So all we did was just put a new VTX antenna, basically a longer coaxial, also a another whip RX. They both stand up. So now let's put this stuff together. Let's push the capacitor back, kind of work backwards. Make sure that didn't break anything. And just push down and ta-da, that goes in there. Now we're going to put the canopy back, string through the antenna that we just installed and put the other one also through and we're gonna drop plop this basically back down and then we're gonna line up the holes like so now we're gonna put the spacers back i like to use a plier to help me number three here Alrighty, so you can see i put the spacers in one two three, four, they all line up. And let's put the screws in. All right, that doesn't look like that's going anywhere. Almost done. I checked everything, everything is nice and clear, good to go, just if for added insurance. I'm gonna put these zip ties here, put it through here, just like the XT30s. We're gonna put shrink wrap on them. Yeah, that'll help make this a little bit more stiff come out the back end like this. They look like little antennas. So I'm gonna feed it through here and come up like this. You can see this is extra added support. It'll keep the antenna up. I'm gonna repeat that for the other side. It's gonna come up through here like so. I'm gonna push this up here like this. Pull it down. I just got a kit of these. I just have a bunch of different colors. So I'm just gonna put this through like so. 
And hopefully this stays standing. Trim just a little bit off the tip. All right, that's good. Use the lighter here to secure this in place. And ta-da! It's nice and firm. So I just have to find another color for this that'll fit. I'm gonna, this side I'm going to use yellow because this fits. Trim this much off the top. Now let's do it again. Let's shrink these. And there you go. Here's your uh, antenna. All right, there you have it, the completed upgrade. We replaced the VTX antenna and the RX, the receiver antenna. Yeah, I think it's ready, ready to rock. Got 70% throttle. Again, they work for me. I just want to fly around the house. Leave a comment below if you've done this yourself. As somebody new, I know that tinkering is part of the process. It's definitely a steep learning curve as far as fixing things. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Any tips that you have for soldering? What would you upgrade next from this? Hit the subscribe button, like, fly safe, and see you guys next time. Bye.